So I got FL Studio 2025.2, and here's a couple of brand new features you might like and might enjoy. All right, so now in the mixer, I have my vocal bus. So let's just say I have a, you know, a long list of plugins, and I'm getting close to running out of spots, or I just want to simplify this a little bit more. If you're not familiar, Patcher is one of those plugins where you can just load infinite amount of plugins inside, create your own plugin, essentially. But what FL Studio just dropped in FL Studio 25.2 is now the ability to patcherize your entire chain. So if you go and you click, let's just say any one of these, and you got a patcherize option, which will just patcherize the one plugin, and then you can add on to that like this. It'll just drop that parametric EQ2 in there with the same exact settings that you have, right? And then let's just delete this. And then you could build on top of that from there, right? But now let's say, let's move this empty spot down here. Now let's say we want to patcherize that entire chain that we like. Let's go to the first one or any one of these and patcherize all. It instantly drops patcher in there in the exact chain that you have inside of your mixer. And it cleans it up. You can see all that's in there now is patcher, but it's the exact chain vocal bus that we have on our vocals. Amazing. This is an absolute game changer. I'm going to be using this probably every day in my life from now on. If you're not familiar with Loop Starter, this is fire for starting ideas. It's not AI. It pulls samples from FL Cloud. They just updated it with six new genres here. So we have a nice long list of different genres and styles. Uh, for example, for an existing beat and project that you're already working on, if you want to use Loop Starter, you can now just choose one of these. Maybe let's do Trap. It's the genre that I have right now is Trap-ish. Uh, but now we have some new features over in the right-hand side. You can choose the key to go along with your existing beat. So I'm in G minor and then hit the dice and it's going to give me samples that are in G minor. I might not need drums, but you never know. We might use a percussion loop or something that comes through just to fill up a little bit more extra space in there because I have this full beat. It sounds like it sounds really good, but let's just say if I want to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of sauce, atmospheric sounds, going with samples is like one of my favorite things to do. Just listen to this into the pattern mode. Locks it into key and tempo. And you can just hit the dice on that again. So I just want to like add one here. Just go to song mode. Just listen to these three. See if they go together. Go back to song starter mode. Click the dice again. You can click this icon to drag all of your audio clips straight to the playlist like this. The audio clips that you had inside a loop starter are there. Just in case you want to chop things up and get a little bit more in depth with things, you can have them straight into your playlist. Also in Loop Starter, that's a new feature in 25.2. If you right click the dice option, you can replace all samples, replace samples for selected channels. If you go to the melody and let's say we want a similar sample, but this one just ain't it. You just right click the dice option on the melody or whatever track that you want to generate and find similar samples. This is going to go through FL Cloud and find similar samples to the one that you have there that just might not match right. If you want to keep up to date on all FL Studio news, follow for more and share this with a friend if you get me.